I wanted to get on here and encourage you. By the way, my name is Benjamin. But leads me to 1 Peter 5, 7. Cast all of your anxiousness onto me. You got that right. If you're feeling anxious about something right now, and you don't know what to do, remember, Jesus is standing there saying, give them to me. I got you, daughter. I got you, child. I got you, son. That's who he is. He's the comforter. He's the great I am. He's the one that went to the cross for every single soul that is lost because he cares for us. That's why he did it. That's how I know. If you're worried about something and you don't know what to do, Jesus is standing there. Bring it to me. I'll carry it. Because there's things that you can't carry alone. I'm the one that can carry it. I'm the one that made everything. I'm the one that has all authority in heaven and on earth. Matthew 28 verse 18. He's the one. He's the one that has all authority. And all we have to do is come to him and say, Jesus, I'm over my head here. I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm drowning. But Jesus says, don't worry, child. I see you. I got you. I'm the one that can make you strong when you are weak. I'm the one that will carry you when you feel like you can't go on no further. And he is beautiful. And it's a privilege and honor to speak, to speak for him on this planet that he created, on this earth that he made. That the enemy comes to seek and destroy. But we got to remember the great I am is the one that made all of this. He is full of lies. So whatever he is telling you, remember, he's a liar. And what he's trying to do is distract you, to pull you away from the one that can bless you, the one that can build you. He's the one that can lift us up. He's the one to glorify the Son. He's the one that we need to keep looking to because nobody else is going to fix the problems here. It's all about Jesus. That's who it's about. When are we going to open our eyes and ears to see the one that lives in me is greater than the one that lives in the world? For he knows every hair on your head. So please don't give up. Don't give up. Remember, he adores you. He made you. Greater is he. Yes, he is waiting on you. All you got to do is go to him and pray because he is the way. There is no other way. Yeah, you can think there is. But behind the scenes, God Almighty is doing things. He is blessing those that are doing his work. He's making a change. And it's about time for he to get all the glory for what he's doing down here. You can turn your back on him if you want and say that he's not there, that Jesus didn't die on that cross for everyone that is lost. But I'm here to tell you, I stand on the rock and he is there and he's watching everything that we do out there. And we will have to recognize and come on that day to own up to what we did here. That's why he did what he had to do. So I'm praying for you. I pray that this message reaches all of his children, all the ones that he has chosen, the ones that he has picked out out of everybody. He said, you're the one I pick like Moses. You're the one I pick like Joshua. You're the one I picked. Yes, you're the one I picked. So stay strong. Don't give up and realize he's our Abba Father, which is in Romans 8. It's beautiful. He's more than a father. He's a friend. So keep seeking him. Jeremiah 29, 13. And if you also go to Matthew 6, verse 33. Yes. Seek the kingdom of God first and all of his righteousness. Yes. That's where it starts. Your walk with him. So I pray that this lifts you up. Anyway, have a blessed day.